welcome to our master class. We thought because it's summer and we face so much sun exposure and we all have to live with hyperpigmentation or melasma or age spots. And I wanted to touch base with you on that topic because what can we do to prevent from getting pigmentation issues? What can we do to get rid of pigmentation? And yeah. um, what is the science behind it? My name is Dr. Barbara Sturm. Um, we have the Dr. Barbara Sturm Molecular Cosmetic Skincare brand, and we have everything available for you to protect from the sun, but also, um, you know, get rid of your pigmentation. And to start, I wanted to touch base on, on my background, which is that I'm an anti-inflammatory doctor. I come from the orthopedics. I help pioneering a treatment where you take the blood from the patient, process it in a certain way, create anti-inflammatory proteins and re-inject those into the joints to take down inflammation. And I translated this in 2002, this knowledge into the skin, and I created something you all know as PRP or vampire facial or blood facial. And this anti-inflammatory approach I brought into skincare, meaning that all the skincare products we have in our line are extremely anti-inflammatory. Uh, we use ingredient signs to bring inflammation down in your skin. We also have supplements to bring inflammation down in your system. Inflammation is the root cause of almost everything and also actually of um, pigmentation issues. There is something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And inflammation is something we need to get under control. In a certain level, we need inflammation as part of our immune system to fight viruses and bacteria. But if inflammation becomes chronic or overloaded, then we face all kinds of problems like chronic diseases, autoimmune diseases. Regarding our skin, it's from redness sensitivities, breakouts, aging, pigmentation, name it, everything we don't like about our skin goes together with inflammation. So inflammation is something we need to get under control. Um, this is not just relating to skincare products, but also in our daily life. Inflammation can rise when we have a lot of stress, for example. Then our cortisol rises in our blood and we have um, we cause inflammation. Or if you don't get enough sleep, if we sleep less than we should, our inflammation level go, goes high and um, the, our immune system goes lower. So sleep, stress, our diet plays a big role in inflammation. Whatever we eat, if it's a lot of processed meat or fried food or sugars, we cause inflammation. But if we go more on a plant-based diet and uh, avoid dairy and processed meat, um, we avoid inflammation, can bring inflammation levels down. Then absolutely also sun exposure causes inflammation and um, pollution, HEB light coming from our phones all cause inflammation. So anti-inflammatory skincare, inflammation in our skin, in our system, that's something we talk about all the time. Another big issue or big um thing to support is our skin barrier and i want to also talk quickly about that because that matters for our um pigmentation issues yeah skin barrier is our outer layer of our um, body of our skin and consists out of dead skin cells a hydrolipid film and um the microbiome and our microbiome consists out of parasites bacteria fungus um and viruses and this microbiome uh, together with the skin barrier needs to be respected and needs to be um, strengthened at all times. So if it weakens, then our skin and our body is totally vulnerable because now sun and all kinds of stresses, pollution, HEV light can enter our skin easily because we kind of take away our protection layer. And for example, lots of skincare ingredients can cause a disruption of our skin barrier. That could be a high dosage vitamin C, that could be a retinol, retin-A, that could be glycolic, hydroquinone, um, laser treatments, all 
disrupt our skin barrier. And, you know, because we always learn, you know, well, if we have hyperpigmentation, I read on Google, you know, you need to do lasers, you need to do hydroquinone, you need to do retinol, retin-A. So basically it gets um, presented to you as a treatment for pigmentation, but what it does, it gives more room for even more pigmentation. By using these abrasive methods, you basically take your uh, microbiome, your skin barrier, help your skin cells away, um, the really like superficial layers to, you know, help with pigmentation and take it basically away. But you basically cause way more pigmentation because all of a sudden, you know, whatever, you know, breaches your skin, like the HEV light, the, 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 you know, the sun, um, hits your skin even harder and even causes more pigmentation. So what is pigmentation anyway? Um, everybody knows we have melanocytes in our skin, which are um, the cells with the melanin. Um, and they're the same for everybody. But if you have lighter skin, you have less dendrites and less biological activity um, of the melan melanocytes and the melanin. Um, then if you have darker skin tones, so the darker skin tone activity um, of the melanin sites is way higher and that causes even more pigmentation issues. And melanin is important because it helps to protect us from UVA, UVB. And that's also like little umbrellas coming to the surface um, to yeah protect the damage from UVA, UVB. By the way, it's an um, inflammatory reaction. It's a form of inflammation, but it's also a protection. Um, so melanin is necessary. There is an enzyme, which is called tyrosinase, which makes this melanin formate into um, little agglomeration, like little spots, whether it's yellow, it depends which kind of melanin we talk about. There's um, oil melanin and pre-melanin. The one is lighter, the one is, the one is yellow, the one is more dark. and this formation gets caused by this enzyme tyrosinase. And this enzyme can be blocked by certain ingredients, which I will talk a little bit later about, which is also in our skincare products to help to prevent from um, the formation and also even try to loosen the formation of the yellow and dark spots if you want to get rid of it. So melanin is important, but it also causes you know, this formation um, as yellow and dark spots. And we have different form of pigmentation issues, you know. There is some called melasma that is caused by hormone disbalances. Mostly when you're pregnant, you develop these uh, melasma spots mostly on your upper lip or on your forehead. This usually goes away when hormones change again, but not always. Then we have something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That's, for example, if you scratch yourself and the sun burns through, then you create something, um, you know, called through post-inflammatory stress that's also call, um, called hyperpigmentation. And I have one example because... I when I inject myself with Botox, I have these dots. And once I injected myself with Botox and I went outside and I didn't put sunscreen on, and voila, there's a hyperpigmentation. Yeah. So especially also when you have breakouts or acne and you pick and you just like, you know, cause this disruption in your skin barrier at certain places, then you basically have the chance that the sun burns through and causes a hyperpigmentation. And then the third form is age spots, which is um, uh, absolute caused by overdose of sun exposure and mostly seen in older people, um, they develop then age spots. So how can we prevent from getting pigmentation? Obviously, you know, wear a big head, use sunscreen, our sun drops, SPF, 30 or SPF 50, you can um, have both, um, you know, sun protection, absolutely necessary when you hit the sun, that prevents from pigmentation and obviously strengthening your skin barrier function, um, always important. So don't compromise your skin with harsh ingredients, which are very abrasive, like resurfacing products, retinol, retinic, glycolic, 
um, as examples. So always go and strengthen your skin barrier and don't make your skin any vulnerable so that the sun can hit. There are some um, remedies you can also have from the garden or from the nature, like aloe vera, for example, it's a great prevention from, from um, pigmentation. Garden cress, great prevention from pigmentation. You can also eat it, you know, taking it orally helps as well. So I developed also a supplement called um, hyperpigmentation supplement. So it helps against pigmentation. Um, by the way, if you purchase a product today, you will get a pigmentation supplement for free. Um, yeah, that's great news. Um, so let me see. I don't want to forget anything. What I wanted to tell you. Yeah. Um, that's important. We actually have someone um, that wanted to ask a question. Yes. I think we've got Claudia. Claudia, if you're there, do you want to turn on your camera and ask Dr. Sturm your question? Sure. Hello, how are you? Hi, Claudia. Good, how are you? I am good, nice to meet you. So, right. yeah, so I am, my question, I'm based in Miami where the sun is very bright yeah. all the time. And I recently discovered your brand. I bought some of the small samples of the night serum and the calming serum. Night serum Love them. Them. By the way, night serum is extremely good also to help with UV um, damages. That's why but, I got it. And then yes. the calm because I have very sensitive skin. But I feel like I just guessed in terms of what serums to buy. And yeah. I would love yeah. counsel in like a skin routine based on my needs and, and whatnot. So very good question. And you picked like two very good products, especially when you live in the sun, because like, you know, redness sunburn etc mm -hmm. that the calming serum is just perfect for an after sun product also the aloe vera gel for example we created super good after sun product um helps with like soothing the skin with irritation with redness with you know just giving the skin back some of the powers it needs to withstand the uv reaction um another product um besides the night serum is also the face mask i love the face mask also after beach after sun exposure you can do it actually every day it's a super good soothing mask and super hydration because what the sun also does it gets you a lot of dryness um so the 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 face mask is a super good product for you to have it's kaolin and clay and aloe vera and you just put it on, leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes. And what I do, I rub it off. I just rub it off. And it's a super nice polishing, like pol polishing, um, super, um, so slightly exfoliating product. It's really nice. So you should try that. But as a skincare routine, um, as a cleanser in Miami, I probably would do the super anti-aging um, cleansing cream because it gives a little more, lipids to the skin barrier but also you know what i actually always love and prefer is the foam cleanser um all the products are extremely hydrating so it's a good cleanse um and because you are in miami i would use the darker skin tone foam cleanser okay yeah whether the so really it depends what you what you prefer whether okay. a milky cleanser or foamy cleanser okay darker skin tone because of you know you always can run the risk of pigmentation it just prevents from pigmentation okay. Yeah, so that's why I always like to use the darker skin tone line. And then um, twice a week, an enzyme cleanser. The enzyme cleanser is the mildest form, most gentle form of exfoliation. So it does it with enzymes. These enzymes get activated by water. It's a powder. You put a little powder in your hand, mix it with water, wash your face, and it really gently exfoliates your skin, but only dead skin cells, yeah? And so your skin barrier is strong and kept alive and kept strong. Um, then what you use is the um, super anti-aging serum. Okay. I would do the super anti-aging serum because it also has glutathione. And glutathione, by the way, um, blocks this enzyme I just talked about, tyrosinase, and prevents from getting pigmentation. Yeah. So for Miami Perfect, the super anti-aging um super anti-aging serum do you want to prevent from pigmentation do you already have pigmentation or 
is this something you're not you just want like a hydrating and um you know soothing routine right hydrating soothing and also anti-aging i'm yes. in my late 30s so just preventative yes. i wear sunblock yes. every day um great and i just so yes by I, just, the... sorry, I get allergic to i have a very sensitive skin is the only yeah. thing yeah 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 that's why all our products are great because they're anti-inflammatory they're great awesome. for sensitive skin um and they don't cause any disruption of your you know of your you know microbiome or your skin barrier so it's all designed for anti-aging in the way that it's anti-inflammatory it's telomerase activating it's hydrating and nutritious so this is all like packed with anti-aging ingredients yeah so the super anti-aging um serum um then i don't know um exosomatic would be like a very very advanced new product um scientific proven to really help with re-engaging with um you know healing factors repair molecules into your skin to upgrade your skin that's a super good anti-aging um, method as well this is something which is um pretty pretty new um okay. in the longevity area i don't know if you heard of exosomes i no. haven't that would be that it's a very advanced product so we can also start like you know very simple you have one super good hyaluronic serum like the super anti-aging serum and then you have a face cream you know you choose maybe the super anti-aging face cream do you tend to have more dry skin or um combination skin or combination i think mm -hmm. it depends on the season like it's pretty dry but then if i go out and it's too thick it's melts off yeah. my face so then why don't you use the normal face cream or normal face oh. cream i love this one it's actually my favorite face cream I have I love this one I use at night and maybe at night you switch to the night cream and the night serum you have the night serum already mm -hmm. so for night you cleanse your face you use the night serum and you use the night cream the calming serum you probably use in between or you use the night serum the, and then the calming serum and then the night cream you know you that's can, what I've been doing yes and, and, exactly yeah. you layer you layer you layer them you know i just did a routine this morning i used my hyaluronic serum my exosomatic my beta b you know mm -hmm. and then i mixed my sun drops in my cream you know to have the sun protection and um still the lipids for my skin barrier so only using serums is not the right method you always need a serum and a face cream but you can layer different serums depending mm -hmm. on you know, another really good serum I would recommend to have is the Beta B, okay. the niacinamide. That's a great serum to make smaller pores and help to even out the skin tone. Actually, also great for pigmentation issues. Yeah, um, the Beta B. Another great serum is the Vitamin C, the Good C serum. It's a beautiful, um, not too high dosage Vitamin C serum, which gives you all the you know, catching free radicals, radiation, helping to rebuild collagen, all these great characteristics, but not, you know, damaging your skin barrier. That's why it's called a good C. That doesn't mean you have to use them all every day, every routine. Mm -hmm. I really do it like today I used a good C, tomorrow I used a better B. So I okay. pack it into my routine as I go along. Um, I have yeah. my serums around, but I'm not using them every day. So what you Makes use sense. every day is the super anti-aging. The super anti-aging every morning, every night. And you like that more than the plain hyaluronic acid serum? If you want to decide for one of the two, maybe you do the super anti-aging. I like to use the hyaluronic in the morning and the super anti-aging at night. But you know, I also own the brand. I cannot recommend like 10,000 products because it's, yeah. I know it's <laughs> super expensive. But yeah. it's just like also the best quality. I always like to, you know, okay. try to start with with a with a routine you know even if you only had a hyaluronic serum or face cream yeah hyaluronic serum face you already had would have like amazing beautiful anti-aging um properties for your skin you would already do such a great job for your skin but if you want to have like a more advanced routine you add the better b you add the um good c you add like a few more serums and um you know bring that into your routine and I promise you, your skin will love it, yeah? And one tip I wanna give in that regard, better only have two or three products than mixing 10,000 brands together, yeah? 
um, it really makes sense to only use Storm because then you see the full effect and the full um, benefits of this brand instead of like, oh, I do the cleanser from this and the serum from this. And then you will never, you know, you will never reach the satisfaction you reach with only, you know, doing doing Storm. So that is my recommendation if you want to try. We also have these kits, you know, where it's all travel sites where we just like you know where you can ease into the to the routine a little bit but it's 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 game changer you will see it okay, thank you i have one more question and that's it is broken capillaries yeah there are what, cream or something that helps reduce them besides laser yeah the calming serum is perfect for that calming really? serum the face mask is great you know okay. um a really great um a supplement of ours also the skin recovery supplement okay. super anti-inflammatory it's it's fantastic it's not just for the skin also for your joints and muscles and whatever you know it's 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 a great great supplement so also the super anti-aging supplement is a good one so you can take each two of each of those supplements the super anti-aging and the skin uh, recovery Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Stay in touch. We want to know how you're doing. Yeah. And um, if you have any questions, just come to us. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Next yep. up, we have Anna. Hi, Anna. Anna, if you could just turn on your camera and mic and ask a question. Hi. Hi. Such a pleasure to meet you. And thank you so much for all of this. This is so valuable, just incredibly valuable. Uh, nice so, yes, to meet you. Anna? You have beautiful skin. Oh, thank you. I do tend to break out just over here, yeah. uh, just before my period, though. So I think yes. it's a little bit like that. So, but thankfully, the stinky pimple treatments. It's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's also you know what's also great. You know, if you have like these occasional breakouts, use the clarifying face mask. Mm. You know, just you know, a day or two during this period, it's um, it's game changing. Mm, I've tried it before. It's it's magical. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, just very briefly, I'm based in Dubai, so it's very hot. It's like forty degrees. Oh, yeah. It's very dusty and it's very humid. Uh, so my question was, uh, how often should I reapply the sun drops during the day? Like if it's um, like if it's necessary. I'm pretty sure it's necessary. So that's one part of the question, and the other one is. Uh, I get very shiny and kind of like oily uh, during the day mm -hmm. or maybe like even within two hours of <laughs> going outside. So what's the best, the best deal, the best way to deal with it? Like, um, obviously I cannot wash my face all the time. Yeah. And if I continue to reapply the sun drops, it becomes just like super oily. Yes. So do you spend a lot of time outside? I wouldn't think so. No, no. I try not to, but even like uh, five minutes, it really... Yes crossing the street etc cetera, etc cetera. um but other than this you are in like heavy air condition right yes yeah and that's so, actually i guess like another thing is i've heard a lot that air conditioners tend to dry out the skin yes so, yes so yes so dubai is also it's tricky yeah um so what i would recommend to you do do you do a lot of sports where you sweat etc during the day or it's usually just like a gym but then i shower yeah, up. yeah okay so when you do your shower after the gym etc cetera, etc cetera, um what i want you to do i want you to mix the sun drops with your hyaluronic serum or with your face cream yeah mix half and half what and then cream your face um with the sun drops and the hyaluronic serum then um your face cream this way the sun drops really goes into your skin and helps to protect from the sun okay that should be fine for the entire day unless you go out and do tennis or something where you sweat again you know where you would need to wash your face again and reapply other than this you really don't have to reapply if you do a good routine in the morning you know and unless you spend like hours and hours you know but if you cross the street five minutes here and there that should be really enough for the inside then you know when you're inside in the air condition you just need to reapply some um hydration and you could do the face mist for example you know for in between you can do um you know i don't know do you have the glow drops also nice you yeah, yeah rehydrate during the day i have the glow drops always with me and just like pat them on you know it also depends if you wear heavy makeup or something you know then 
but the face mist and maybe um do you sit in front of the computer yes a lot there's another trick you know i learned with our anti-pollution drops have you tried them you have them you see and that is a great product to mm -hmm. put that on also even after um you applied sunscreen and the face cream put the anti-pollution drops on because it not only protects you from the HGV light and the pollution, but it also seals the hydration in. You will see you will feel way less dryness throughout the day in the air conditioner with the computer. And you take the anti-pollution drops with you, put them next to your computer and just, you know, refresh. And I think you should be absolutely fine. Okay, sounds good. Um, thank you. I actually have another question, like a yeah. tiny yeah. Um any chance that you're gonna open a spa or like a treatment center in Middle East? Because I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I know we should, we should, we should, we absolutely should. And we, you know what? I have been looking into it. Um, and I was in Dubai in November, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm surely coming back this, this, um, in the, in the next couple of months. Um, we have our facials offered at the new um Atlantis. Oh, okay. Watch, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what is it called? Uh, no, is it Atlantis? I think we had Atlantis, but also the new Royal. What is it? Um, the new hotel which opened. Oh, well, it, it was Atlantis that recently opened. Oh, well, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That hotel where where you can have facials there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. By the way, we also have an um pigmentation facial. And you know, in Dubai, I was when I was in Dubai, I was really noticing a lot people with a lot of pigmentation because I think what what's happening in the skincare industry is that you know you get told you need to use retinol, you need to use this, you need to use resurfacing products, you need to use all those like crazy abrasive, aggressive skincare ingredients, and then what happens? is that you make your skin so vulnerable that then, especially in Dubai, you know, you touch the sun all the time. You get such heavy, heavy um, pigmentation. D do you notice that too in Dubai? Yeah. Oh, well, I also notice, uh, I notice there's a lot of texture of the skin. Like I can, I can see that. And also like a lot of people wear like super heavy makeup and it's yeah. just like one thing leads to another. And to be honest, like the problem with the uh, with this area, there's not a lot of treatments that are really like gentle, but at yeah, the same yeah, yeah. time, I know, I know. Effective, you know. That's why we need to be there. We need to come. So especially when you are in an area where it's extremely sunny, extremely, you know, whether it's in high in the mountains or on the beach or in the desert or wherever you are. You need to extra take care of your skin in a way that it strengthens your skin barrier function. Don't go abrasive to your skin. You will create a lot of, 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 of things you actually want to avoid and you want to get rid of, you know, like aging, like pigmentation. Um, there are so many problems coming together with that, you know, also the dryness of the skin. You know, if you cause disruption in your skin barrier, water leaves the skin this is one of our biggest problems when we age that water leaves the skin transepidermal water loss when our skin care is, uh, skin barrier is broken not just that but also throughout the night you know the skin becomes more permeable and you get transepidermal water loss and that's why it's so great that we have the night serum but also the night cream because the night cream has an ingredient called polyglutamic acid. And that is an ingredient which is actually four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid, but it doesn't go deep. So it sits on the surface, it sits on top, but what's so great about it, it seals the hydration and, and it prevents the skin from the transepidermal water loss. Plus it fills in your fine lines and wrinkles. So the night cream for throughout the night is for me a must have, the night serum, the night cream together must have it's you know it's some of my favorite things in the line and um it's it's you know some products everybody should have especially um you know coming in like an older age you know like mine <laughs> i wouldn't say that <laughs> but i get you um Good. 
Thank you so much. I'm such a fangirling moment for me right now. So thank Aww, you. I'm so happy to meet you and please keep in touch. You know, if you need any help, you know, we have such a great team. Michaela um, is running our, you know, customer service, but also our, our team for the best, best, you know, advice service. They're so well trained. They're so nice. Everybody gets help and support for whatever they needed. So, you know, we're still a doctor led brand, um, which is at service to our patients, you know, that really means a lot to us. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining today. <laughs> so much. Have a good one. You too. Big kiss. Bye. Bye bye. Phoebe, we have a lot of people asking about the actual routines. Yes, I um, just wanted to say, I want to go through the routine. I want to show what is the best routine because there are ingredients which can help to lose the acclimation of the yellow and dark spots. And I tell you a little story because um, it was so mind blowing to me. So a friend of mine, like two summers ago, I see in Italy and she has full on makeup. And I'm like, girl, it's so hot, you know, like, you know, why do you wear all this makeup? And she's like, you don't understand. My melasma is so bad. And, you know, she was using my products already. And I said to her, how do you use the products? Are you on that routine? And she said, no, 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 no. Please write down the routine, write down the routine. So I wrote the routine down for her. I put her on this routine. I saw her three weeks later, three weeks later in Italy and she had no makeup and her melasma was, yeah, that's, that's her, um, you know, was almost completely gone. I mean, that was amazing, 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 amazing. And I couldn't believe it. And, you know, it doesn't say, you know, it always takes three weeks. Maybe it takes a little longer. But if you go on this routine, you will have really um, great success. So I tell you the routine. So the one line I would recommend is called darker skin tones. And the darker skin tone line we created because of the bigger inflammation um, if you have more melanin and melanocytes in your skin. So the melanin causes more inflammation and this inflammation causes pigmentation issues yeah so we created this line to bring down inflammation but also it has an ingredient called lumicol to even out the skin tone yeah so it's like our normal line but it's a little more active so i would recommend you the darker skin tone cleanser and the darker skin tone enzyme cleanser these two products yeah so the cleanser use every day and the enzyme cleanser twice a week um there's also a hyaluronic serum for darker skin tones you can also use that whether you use the darker skin tone hyaluronic serum or the super anti-aging serum one of the two the advantage of the super anti-aging serum is that the glutathione stops the tyrosinase this enzyme which makes the formation yeah so so you start with the hyaluronic serum or the super anti-aging serum then you use the brightening serum. The brightening serum is another line we created and it has ingredients, for example, garden cress, I um, just also recommend it already, which helps to loosen the agglomeration of the yellow and dark spot. So you can also put it in your salads every day. It's great to also eat it, yeah? Um, the brightening serum, a really, really good um, product to loosen those spots, yeah? then I would recommend uh, the Better B because that also evens out the skin tone. And then the face cream, um, you whether you use the brightening face cream or the darker skin tone face cream. And then absolutely you use your sun drops and you have the supplement, the pigmentation supplement. And I we also create these bundles. You can find these bundles on our website. So if you have acne and breakouts, you go to the acne bundle. Yeah, we already put these bundles together for you. You can find them on the website, the pigmentation bundle. Um, we have a um, bundle for sensitive skin and rosacea. Um, we have a bundle for, for, for what else, Shivi? We have like a bunch of these bundles put together. So it's, it's easier for you to pick um, the right products depending on the status of your skin. Yeah. We've got about eight different bundles. And what we're going to do, everyone, is we're going to put the links in the chat so you can it will take you straight to the web page and you can have a little explore and see everything there. Yeah. So what else is important for you guys to know? Um, I don't want it to be too scientific because I think you guys are um, you're more interested in practicality, right? Should, yeah, why don't you... 
Please ask me some questions being asked. Well, we have, um, we have Fiona, um, who's also wanting to ask a question. Hi there. Nice to meet Hi. you. Thank well, you nice for to meet you. I um, discovered your skincare line a couple of months ago, I think, and yeah. it has been a real game changer for me. I was really struggling. I was under a lot of stress and I was yeah. having a lot of hormonal acne. Yeah. And also I'm 46, so fine lines and everything. And um, so I found that um, using your products has really helped with the acne. And also because it was cystic, I had a lot of red scarring. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, I know you have the kits and everything, but sometimes it's hard to know when you've got a number of different issues yeah. where obviously the first issue is always try to prevent the cystic acne and yeah. heal the scarring. But then, you know, in different, I would say that aging is most pronounced on the forehead. Yep. And, um, and I do tend to have redness. So sometimes it's hard to know what to take from which line. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good question because obviously we want to address so many issues together. Anti-aging, by the way, except for the baby and kids line and the microbiotic line for teenagers, all our products are extremely anti-aging. Yeah. So all the ingredients in these products are designed to bring, you know, to address the issue we are talking about, but also they are extremely anti-aging because they're all telomerase activating, you know, they're all of first line and skull cap, they are all super hydrating, they're nutritious. Um, there's a lot of ingredient science and in which helps um, with inflammation and with aging, okay? So whatever you use from Sturm, you're, you're good, yeah? Um, definitely for redness, I would try the calming serum as well, yeah? But you need to really balance and see, you know, so maybe you mix it with your hyaluronic serum together, you know? because you want to bring down the redness and um, the inflammation, but you don't want to be, you know, too, 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 you know, too um, lipid based, you know? So you need to see what it, what it, if your skin is too dry or too oily, we have to see how, how that fits, but the calming serum is a really great product to bring the redness down and help also with the scarring. Um, another, super good product i don't know if you have tried it is the better b the niacinamide i've been using the vitamin c and the better b Great. every morning yeah. and my skin has really transformed um so it's really healing you know it looks better and better every day Aww. it's amazing um, so yeah so that's why you know i i just kind of made a a system on my own but now you know all the products sound so great. It's, you know, kind of trying to decide. So yeah. I haven't tried the, um, I haven't tried the calming serum, um, but uh, could I, could I add that to the vitamin C and vitamin B routine? Absolutely. I have? Absolutely. I don't know how many serums you're layering. You can just, absolutely, two. just these two. Then what Before. I would get yeah, what I would add as the first step, the hyaluronic serum. So I would okay. get a hyaluronic serum and then use the better B and the good C. And okay. you could start to introduce the calming serum at night so that you use in the morning the better B or the good C and at night, maybe the night serum and the calming serum. Okay, I yeah. have the clarifying serum, which I've yes, been using. that's amazing. Okay, then you don't need the hyaluronic serum because the clarifying serum it's also a hyaluronic serum, you know? Or if your skin gets slowly better, you add the hyaluronic serum and then you don't need the, the clarifying serum anymore. You know, you can can see, but the clarifying serum is great, but use that before the better B or the good C. Okay, so use that in the morning as well. First step, yeah. Okay. You always okay. need a hyaluronic serum based product as well. So whether okay. it's the hyaluronic serum or the clarifying serum, or the super anti-aging serum, that is always your first step. And that's, it's like the white t-shirt of your skincare routine. You always use it morning and night. Okay, yeah? okay. So Thank you. That's try really that, helpful. yeah. Because the clarifying serum actually is also extremely calming and soothing and should also help with redness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think 
like I said, it's been improving. If you had seen it, you know, in April, my skin, before mm -hmm. I found your line, I mean, you would, well, probably you wouldn't because you're an expert, but it's pretty shocking how much in the best way, how yeah. much improved. And people keep saying like, what have you been doing? You know, because uh, it looks so much better and um, it's only been a short time. Amazing. I love that. That's such, that's such great. That's why I'm doing this. You know, that, you know, people like you telling me the stories, that's, that's the best, best pay for me. I, I well, love I can this. tell you that um, if that's the case, like my job is I'm a professor. So my job is speaking in front of people at conferences, speaking in front of wow. classrooms. So with the cystic acne, it really impacted me. Of right. Um, oh. And uh, so it changed, you know, my day-to-day -day life, having the skin healing makes my everyday life oh my God, that, yeah, better. You must feel so much better about, about everything. That's, that's great. But yet, you know, that's why I also like to do that. You know, I wanted the best products because I want to look in the mirror and I want to say, okay, I feel good in my skin. You know, that's all I wanted. You know, it's not even what other people say. It's what you say when you look in the mirror and, you know, I'm here with no makeup, whatever, you know, I just jumped into a river and, you know, just put my hyaluronic serum and my face cream on. And it's all, you know, I feel good with that, you know? Yeah. I also have some pigmentation, but it's not that it bothers me so much. And, you know, it's just how you feel in your skin personally, you know, and there's just like two more things I want you to, um, to start using. That's uh, one, the skin recovery supplement. And the super anti-aging supplement, both of them. So each one, each one, two pills, because that's great for anti-aging, great for anti-inflammation, great for your skin. But it's a, it's all herbal, it's all vegan. Yeah, you can also if you don't, you know, I always don't tolerate um, supplements with my tummy, so I, you can open these capsules and put the supplements in your, in your, in your smoothie or muesli or whatever you're having so that works so too anti-aging and the recovery yes yes skin recovering anti -aging. i know these names are all they're, they're all over the place and then <laughs> you know if you want to uh, work with your wrinkles for the forehead that i have two suggestions one is if you had the night serum and the night cream for night because it fills in your fine lines and wrinkles but i i feel like i'm i'm suggesting too many products but the other alternative would be the lifting serum. I don't know if okay. you have tried the lifting serum, no, but the lifting I serum, yeah, but it's like a, a night cream. Because I didn't realize, like you were just saying to the last person, I didn't realize initially that I I needed to use a cream after the serums. Yeah. So, um, so I don't have the night cream. But would it be too rich for my skin, or is okay? So it's it's more like the hydration than richness. Um, we could also send you a sample or something, you know, that you can try it. Um, you theoretically could also, you know, as long as you maybe want to use like a lighter cream, you can use the clarifying face cream, you know, and you can use that morning and night, okay. you know, you maybe can, you know, add the night serum because it's hyaluronic based, hyaluronic serum based, but, but, you know, just stick to the clarifying cream and when you feel like you want to have a little more power at night you can try the the night cream but i'm sure we can also send you a sample or something so you have it and you can see how, how you feel with it you know thank you so much i really appreciate it so nice to meet you and i'm so happy about your skin and um thank you for joining um it means a lot to me okay we, we actually have a non-skincare related question bb um laurie yeah. would like to where you got your white t-shirt from and you know I what actually Shiv knows that Shiv knows that <laughs> they're I literally okay. they're, they're washed like 10,000 times I get these they're called velvet velvet and they're like the oh. thinnest velvet t-shirts I love them so much they're they're so durable and you know I, I wear them every day every day they're to me they're the best ones there's another brand I like. Um, I just discovered, but I forgot the name. It's it's a complicated name. Something with O. You remember this chef? The oh. two girls from London. Oh. 
Yeah. They're so cute, I, have to, I have to share this on my Instagram. If you guys follow, yeah. follow me on my private Instagram, I will share it. BB Sturm, okay? I will share my white t-shirt collection. <laughs> share your collection um we also wanted to say because obviously we're not going to have time to answer everyone oh we questions. have a detergent oh my god this detergent i'm addicted to this uh, detergent i always wanted to make a detergent because i don't want all these chemicals in in my detergent because i also have like very sensitive skin and i don't like to be itchy and this this detergent has aloe vera percent scalp pepper it has the best ingredients it smells good even without fragrance it smells so good and it's just the best ingredients and really worth, especially also for your babies and kids. And um, such a good point that you put that out here, um, Shivi, because I, I, I love this one so much. Okay, and what we also wanted to do, because um, we were talking about all of the bundles that we offer online, if you don't have time to have your question answered by Dr. Stem today, you can go, I think Joel's showing you now, you can go onto our website and get your personalized skincare routine. It's super easy, super quick. You can just find my routine and then follow the steps um, and it will come, you know, you'll get information, the products that you need that is designed specifically for your skin, your age, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely give that a go. Our team worked on that for years. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what? They, they went so much work into doing this routine finder. I know I've uh, been working on that like crazy. So yeah, you guys can check it out. What else do you, do you need to know? Are there more questions? Um, we did have one lady asking, saying that she's pregnant and she seems to have developed pigmentation um, during her pregnancy. Yes, you should. Normal? You know what? You should get on the um, on the um, pigmentation routine right away because that will it's pregnancy safe. You can use it while you are, you know, pregnant. After, whenever, it's like a really great routine, and I would recommend to get on this routine right away. Another lady, Bibi, actually uh, was asking if you're not darker skin tones, but you do have melasma and hyperpigmentation, should you still be using the DST um, cleanser yes, and enzyme cleanser as part of the routine? Absolutely, this is good for everyone. Yeah, so it's not just like you use this, use that. So everybody mixes and matches because you know these products just are way more anti-inflammatory they're antibacterial they're good for evening out the skin tone also when you have breakouts and acne it's perfect to use the darker skin tone line yeah um so this is for everybody no matter what skin color skin tone whatever it is you can use the darker skin tone line um absolutely yes um we've got luxury Lindsay is asking if we can develop a natural deodorant is that on the line? <laughs> I feel oh, like yeah, we, we, we actually we actually developed one. So let's see when this is going to launch. But we have one. I'm using it because I'm I'm such a maniac. You know, I I need clean products everywhere. That's why I have a detergent. We have a body wash. We have a V collection. V wash. V drops. We have shampoos. We have a hair mask. I use all everything just sturm just because I know what's in there. I believe in the ingredients. I think that's the best for you know our scalp, our genitals, our skin, our body, our everything. You know, so I only trust myself. So we have like products for everything, and um, absolutely yes, we need a deodorant. For sure. I agree. Um, we've had a few questions about lasers and mm -hmm. what you think of them. Um, and maybe also someone was also asking about microneedling and if that's a good thing or a too yeah. invasive. So, so with all these things, yeah, whether it's lasers or microneedling, it always depends how often you do it. You know, if you do it once and let's start with microneedling. Microneedling, if you do like a very... Um, small needle yeah not too long so that you don't disrupt your skin barrier etc etc so you do a, a mild micro needling you do um it with a hyaluronic um acid or we do you do it with like exosomes you hardly cause inflammation um and but don't do it like you know every week or something just phase it out do a cure of like three times uh, four weeks, you know, um, do microneedling. That could be great if you have scarring for anti-aging. It's great, but you need to know if you do it, you know, the next couple of days, you need to be careful with the sun, with all this kind of stuff. So you need to have a proper roadmap how to behave when you do these kind of treatments. Yeah, same for lasers. If you think you need to do a laser, 
um, if you're brave enough, do the laser, but then you know it, your skin turnover is like 28 days. So it needs a, a little time to heal back and you are very vulnerable during that time. Um, you can develop pigmentation, you can develop aging. There's like so many um, problems along the way, but you need to know that. This is not something you do like all the time, but occasionally, but you need to really know how to, how to, um, what side effects there are and how you need to behave during the healing process. And then you need to add healing factors into your skin. So there I would recommend you use the exosomes, you use the calming serum. So you really bring soothing um, ingredients and skincare into your routine. Um, and what else is important? Retinol, for example, Retin-A, I wouldn't use, especially not on a daily basis or weekly basis. You know, if you want to do an acid peel, I also wouldn't recommend it. But if you want to do it, do it in the winter and then do it once and be done. Same thing. You need to really help you to heal your skin back. You need to give it enough time. You need to make sure you don't create more problems during the healing time, you know. So I rather, I always say, love your skin, be good to your skin, give your skin ingredient science. We just heard um, so many success stories just by, you know, using like anti-inflammatory products and products which strengthen your skin barrier, giving enough hydration, making your skin healthy and, um, you know, dewy and glowy. Um, so just a few minutes left. Um, we have a question. Do computer screens cause hyperpigmentation? And if so, what's the best product to use for people that are working a lot with screens? So screens, yeah, screens radiate something called HEV light. It's the blue light coming from the from the screens and it dries out your skin and it actually penetrates same harsh like sun. So it goes, it's short wavelength, goes very, very fast, very deep into your skin. And it can cause pigmentation, can cause premature aging, can cause all these things. And a good screen to use for that would be our anti-pollution drops. So that's a hyaluronic, um, acid-based serum, you put it on um, in the morning already to block out pollution and the HGV light, but you can reapply it when you sit in front of the computer. It not only locks out the HGV light, but it gives you really great hydration because you are right, you know, it dries out your skin. And also in your daily skincare routine, use hydrating products like ours, like our hyaluronic serum, our face cream to have like a strong skin barrier function, yeah? Last but not least, um, as we were saying, you do get the skin anti-pigmentation capsules as a gift, gift of purchase today. Um, we're just showing a lovely little image on the screen showing the ingredients. Um, Dr. Stem, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the supplements. Yeah, all our supplements are designed to bring down inflammation, but also have specific, um, you know, characteristics like this one, for example, has copper, olive leaf extract, ingredients which orally taken from the inside out, bring your pigmentation down. That's why it's great to use that together with the pigmentation routine, yeah? Two pills a day. They're all vegan, they're all natural. So all coming from the nature. And you can take multiple um, pills. Of yeah, you can so. just, you know, we also have a um, supplement called Sunskin, which is a natural sun um, protection tool, but also it has carotenoids, which give you like a throughout the year, nice um, little tan. And it has ingredients to, um, you know, prevent from, from sun allergy, which is nice. So they're all our supplements right here. Um, the super anti-aging one is the green, then the light green is the recovery one, just extra anti-inflammatory. If you have problems sleeping, you can use the good night sleep, the blue one, um, all herbal and 5-HTP. These supplements are really safe to use and don't make you addicted or drowsy in the morning. They're like really um, made with so much care and love and um you know, all comes in the packaging made out of mushrooms. So these uh, supplements are also super sustainable and they're um, making, we also have a supplement called um, for intermittent fasting. So if you do intermittent fasting to just prevent from depleting from your minerals, trace elements, um, you know, you, electrolytes, you need to add this to your routine of supplements. Yeah, the intermittent fasting one.
Okay, so time up for now. Everyone will receive your code via email and you've got seven days to make your purchase. Let us know what else you want to know about what we should talk about. I thought this little summer special pigmentation special, but you know, our team with Michaela is always 24 seven reachable and, you know, answers all your questions, but somehow you can also reach me, just go through Siobhan. Um, and, you know, we are happy to do this for you whenever you want. So if you have ideas, what we should be talking about, we are really ready to hear your ideas. I would say goodbye. She one will tell you a little bit more how to, um, what you all get. It's it's fantastic. It's like Christmas. And um, I see you next or the week after. Yeah. Big kiss to everybody. Stay safe. Bye.